Have you been looking for a newly remodeled home in an established community with tree-lined streets dotted with neighborhood parks and homes with beautiful crafted architecture? If so, then you don't want to miss this home tour right here in Cleveland Heights. This house has a stunning exterior. You got the all brick and absolutely love the black iron pipe there. You have the leaded glass windows, the mature landscaping, the huge gable right in the front there to give it that peak. This is truly a picture perfect house. All right, guys, let's head inside. It's getting a little cold out here. So this house was built in 1938, and as you can see, it has had a huge facelift. It still has that character of a 1938, but it has that modern floor plan that we all like. I think the issue nowadays with these new houses is they're nice and moving ready, but they're lacking that character. This home has both. Check it out. They got the new flooring running throughout the entire house, the nice open floor plan, and take a look at this front entrance. This is awesome. I love this rounded door here, and these glass knobs are absolutely amazing. flows right into the living room. And again, keeping up with those modern updates, you got the fireplace here as the main focus of this living room, painted black to keep it up with that modern updates. But at the same time, you have the character of that fireplace. Check out those carvings. The devils are in the details. Now, if you're someone who works from home, you're really gonna appreciate this next room. Check out these French doors that lead right to your home office. Of course, this could be a den for the kids to play in or something like that, but this is a really great space. Not huge, but very functional. And I love how there's two windows here. Let's in a ton of natural light back here. All right, now let's go ahead to the dining room. Again, you gotta love this open floor plan. Huge dining room, got an eight seat dining table. What I really like, again, staying original to that character of the house, you got an original built-in cabinet tucked away in the corner. And take a look at these windows. You got the diagonal muttons to give it that diamond shape. Staying true to that 1938 build. Now to the heart of the home, the kitchen. Check out how spacious this is. Tons of upgrades in here. We got stainless steel appliances, the white shaker cabinets, granite countertops stacked with the marble backsplash. A really pretty space. And what I really like is again, all the natural light that flows through makes the space feel huge in here. All right, that finishes up the main floor. Let's head upstairs. Oh, and I didn't mention that this house has four finished floors. You got the basement, the main floor, upstairs, and then the finished attic as well. Staying true to the modern updates, but also the character of the home. You got the wrought iron railings here, solid wood doors, the glass knobs, and of course, the modern updates that we're all looking for, the finished bathrooms. We even have an ensuite bathroom here as well. We got three bedrooms on this floor, and then in the attic, we got the fourth bedroom. All right, cool, let's head up to the attic. All right, the attic is such a good space. Normally these spaces aren't finished, so this is definitely nice to have. Check out, I love how the brick in the back is the focal point of this room. Guys, pro tip as well, since this is a finished attic, in the summer months, it's probably gonna get a little warm up here, so you might need that separate AC unit to cool the space off, especially if you're gonna use it as a bedroom. And last but not least, we got the finished basement. We don't see a ton of finished basements here in the Heights, so this is definitely a nice luxury to have. It could be another sitting room, a den, a place for the kids to play, or my personal favorite, it could be a home gym. Since it stays cool down here year round, it's a great place to put the workout equipment. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this home tour. Remember, if you're looking to move out to the Cleveland area, make sure you shoot me a text, call, or email. You no know, matter how you want to get a hold of me, I got your back. We're moving to the area. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.